WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. Uh, we have a bifurcated market. And so Basil Chapman would say we've got the E-mini, S&P, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones all down. Actually, the Dow Jones is basically unchanged. Russell is up uh, quite a bit. It's up about nine points. We've got Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are acting quite well, given the fact that we've got the Federal Reserve coming out here. In about uh, an hour from now, which is going to make everything change, uh, U.S. dollar is a little weaker. We're having a little bit of a bounce here in the euro and the British pound. However, the Canadian dollar and Australian dollar are still under a great deal of pressure. The S&P is down about 13 points uh, for the day. NASDAQ has been hit pretty hard. It's down about 123 points, but that's mainly a function of, you know, of Google and some of these others, especially Microsoft is down. Uh, well over 6 or 7% today uh, with their earnings being off uh, or whatever what they were looking at they were they were on the other side of the uh, the other side of the, of the of the plane as they say uh, in the trade so that's what we're paying close attention to gold is still strong it uh, hit that low yesterday at at uh, 1955 and uh, we're up about uh, oh, 18 bucks from that low and it looks like it's still poised to go uh, a little bit higher in here the only one that is sort of a big surprise is the fact we're getting a sell-off in the crude oil complex. And then also wheat and corn are down a little bit, but that's not un to be unexpected because it's been a pretty much of a rocket ship, you know, going to the upside. So we're going to have a lot of fun here these next few days, especially after the Federal Reserve gets out here and tells us what they're looking for. And then we'll uh, move on from that level and, and see what really happens. So right now we're hovering relatively near the low of the day. Uh, in the S&P, but the Dow is up uh, well over 100 points from the low. And in fact, it just flashed red. That's the first time it's flashed red in uh, quite a while. So we're going to see how that uh, I'll saw, see how that works up here as we start to look at some of these things here today. Okay, folks, uh, what we're going to do as our guest today for uh, Trade What You See, we're going to have Paula Webb Douglas as our guest. She'll be on the, the horn at uh, 1.30 today. And of course, the Federal Reserve will be on the horn a little bit after that, and that'll be a really interesting one to uh, take a look at because it's uh, one of those things where they've had a heck of a run, and uh, they're going to decide what they're going to do with interest rates, and we'll see. I'm sure they're going to drop them, right? Hello, operator. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 